Hey guys, Trevor Coach here today with more back with Fruit Baskets episode 19. So last episode we got we got the really good backstory for Kita. I think it was a really well done one. I just didn't it was really sad to be fair. Um but um it was done really well and it, it gave a lot more to Toru as well. Like I love the way Toru handled the whole situation. And it was nice seeing um Horu actually have like a little moment in the show showing how much he cares for her. But other than that, overall, I just sort of want to jump into this episode, guys, because I've got a bit to record, but really love last episode, and I'm looking forward to more of the show. The only sad thing is now is that every episode that goes by, the closer we get to the end of season one, and I just hope season two is not a long wait. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoy this reaction. If you do, leave a like. It helps me massively, as always. Subscribe, and let's jump into this. Hey, yeah. Mate, she's fucking mad, isn't she? Where are you right now? I love how you just dance in such a chill dance. Okay. Is this? Apologize for walking in front of your lead. It's my fault. I'm rushing to the Who's the guy? I must be going now. Who's cross dressing? Eggboard. Who is this? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Not nearly enough, but. Ooh, you brought a gift, yay. Well, yes. like mother, like son, or daughter. Like I don't know yet. I got you some books I'm, ge fruit I'm guessing it's a guy. You find them Cause I'm too weak. Aya's the issue. He has what you might call a superhuman level of belief in himself. Oh, I see. Let's start small. You must know you yeah, are too much. <laughs> yes, you're right, sorry. Point confirmed. Here. Not true. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much every social situation. Yuki, you're beginning to resemble your older brother so much. We're done here. Did I see something to make you mad at me? Oh, Yuki's response is perfect. Here comes Kyo. Richan, pull yourself together and try again. Huh? What are you doing? I swear Shigo is just enjoying himself. He's not even trying to help. God, my ears are dying. And boom. There we go. Wait, I don't understand this. Aren't you a girl? How does Toru do this every time? There we go. It's a guy, Toru. Come on, figure this out. I'm about to who's just baffled because we've been calling him Richon calling her a beautiful girl. Be that as it really? She figured out where I live, and now I live my life in fear. Fuck's sake. To it is though. Fate was you and Newton. Such a drama queen, isn't he? Reach on. Assert yourself by sending this obsessed fan away. If you can get rid of my stalker all by yourself. Well then. I love how he's not helping out. Self-assurance. Are you sure? I'm not a big fan of this character at the moment. I don't know if it's just not growing on me. Oh, did she just destroy the work? Fuck's sake. Why did you destroy the draft? Hopefully they help rewrite it. Yeah, I hope there's a good reason for the way he is. What is he doing? Chris, you might not realize it. But your heart is searching. Mm. Oh, Toru, I'm so glad I had you. Now I'm happy every day because you're here with yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> they remind me of how great she is. Um, I guess the whole reason I was born was so I could make you happy, Mommy. But now Mum's not there. She did not make her happy. <laughs> That's true. I won't question it. Now Mum's gone. She had to find a new goal. None of us are born with some predetermined reason to be alive in this world. See, I find this is a good lesson, but because of the jokes about suicide a minute ago with the assistant, I thought we'd feel like it could take away from this. But it doesn't help, I don't really like this character. I'm not a big fan. Keo? No, I'm not joking. Hey, Keo for life. But as long as you're alive... And you want to keep looking? You live for the sake of others. See, Kyo was furthest away there because it means it's the one way she needs to get closest to. to that foreshadowing, I'm just saying. Special person who's your... 
Hopefully it doesn't just switch to screaming again. Does he always act that way? That was nothing. He's constantly teasing me to amuse himself, ignoring deadlines and disappearing whenever that I Sounds like Shigaraki. <laughs> That's why he's a hero. Honestly, I'm not sure I'm cut out for this job. I panic too easily. It might even be for someone else. Do, do, do. Took Toru's heart, ruins the heart, I see. Just so you know, I'm repeating another person's words. They're not my can look at someone and say, I have opinions about this I episode, I do have to say. Yeah, uh, I'd say right, guys, bear with me. <laughs> um I like to be honest. Um as you know I love this show. I think it's fantastic. By far for me that was the worst episode of this probably the series. I didn't connect with the character at all. Don't get me wrong, I understand the character arc. I'll give a perfect example. This character here um, has the exact same story that's just been done, but in Fire Emblem, and that was done really fuck. That was done really well. Whereas I feel like I get the reason she, the character's annoying and that like is screamy is because it plays into the thing like how oh, you need to feel bad for her because um, him because um, obviously he had confident issues and he's always apologising. He hates that part of himself, but he keeps doing it. I understood that. But then, because you had like the sort of jokes about suicide with the assistant, and then the, just the random dramaticness to wanting to end her life on top of the roof, but not obviously saying that she wouldn't do it because she's selfish to live. And then Toru gave a very good lesson there. I liked Toru's lesson, and I think that was the best part of the episode, especially showing the mum again. Always love that. But I like to be honest when I'm sort of thing. I really did lose interest pretty quickly. I don't know if it was mainly because of the English dub voice actor, or maybe it's a bit more better in the sub. I might be watching the sub to see if I can get a bit more a bit more with it but it really went through me um along with the assistant i don't like the assistant at all um like i said the show's been perfect from perfect from episode one so far so to me one bad episode for me personally just one bad episode doesn't mean much to me um and i can't like every character i don't expect to go into like every, every character i expect quite a few dislikes from this but yeah that's just my that's just my opinion i like to keep it real um if you don't agree with me that's perfectly fine if you love the character and you can relate to the backstory that's fine like i say i don't mind that character that character type when it's done well like i say with the character on the screen it was done really well whereas i just think with this one it was just more annoying i couldn't connect and i didn't i just didn't like like the character um yeah i could be being overly harsh um Put your opinions in the comments below. I'm happily read them. Keep it quick. Keep the obviously comments calm. Um, <coughs> I just know whenever I give like an opinion sort of like this, I get a lot of hate, and it's just like, guys, at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. It doesn't mean it's that what I'm saying is right. It's just what I think, and I'm willing to change my mind if so people can make good arguments. Um, but yeah, no, just for me, I just think like it didn't help having the light jokes about suicide at the start, and it just felt like the tone shifted too quickly, and the whole like I don't like the whole screaming character sort of arc. Like, I know what people always say. When I call a character annoying, I always get one person who goes, oh, but you're annoying. It's just like, that's not the point I'm getting at. This is just when I'm going to be watching a show. But yeah, yeah, I'd say it's the worst episode. I'd say that's one of the worst episodes, but yeah. Like I say, Terry's moments are nice, but yeah. I'm just curious what you guys think. Did you really enjoy this episode, or was it just me? Um, it was just being a bit too cynical. I do. I am really interested to see how much you guys like enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it a lot, guys, I'm glad you did. And I hope to see you next week. Hopefully another back with a really good episode. But guys, hope you enjoyed the reaction. Like.